This is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street, <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. I'm telling you this. And I, I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I'm not who you think I am. Your perception is a lesson with a fail grade on it. Yeah. I stand by this message. Rapper Cameron and Mace have received a warning from Jay Prince for getting into a war words with his boxer, Shakur Stevenson. The feud began last week when the It Is What It Is co-host criticized Stevenson's recent world title defense and said that it was boring. But now, rap a lot Records founder Jay Prince, who also is the manager of Stevenson, called out the Harlem rappers turned sports personalities for the shots they took at his fighter. Highlighting the fact that Stevenson's fight was ESPN's most watched boxing event of the year. And this is what Prince wrote on Instagram. As we go back a little bit, it started when Cameron Mace did their commentary as sports personalities on Shakur Stevenson. And he responded. And he said, I'm going to knock Cameron out for taunting him over his lack of punching power in the ring. But Cameron quickly responded back by saying, first you told me to strap up. Then you said, put the gloves on. So I said what I said. Now you act like I threaten you. Now you're going to knock me out. You can't even knock ninjas out that weigh 135 pounds. Anyway, Shakur Twitterson, you won. You ain't signed to nobody right now. Don't nobody want to fight you because you can't sell tickets. And he added, you fight harder on Twitter than you did last Saturday. And this was the back and forth between Cameron and Shakur Stevens. But then, as it began to get a little heated, situations took place and we know social media it goes for 99 percent of the people social media can put that battery in your back in which it did it put the battery in the back of jay prince so jay prince took to his instagram and he said numbers don't lie haters do and then he went on a talk show and he said to all of you haters who want to escalate that hate outside of the ring I'm Shakur's manager, and I handle all his business outside of the ring. In other words, Cam and Mace, I will fade all his shots and take all bets. That's where the battery in the back comes in from, people. Because now, Jay Prince, even though that's his fighter, he manages the fighter, but he includes himself inside of a beef already, with his fighter saying, strap up. And then coming back saying, hey, we can knuckle up. Let's put the gloves on. So what happens? It continues to make the beef escalate. And that's why you had Cam and Mace on their It Is What It Is podcast today. And they said the things that they said about, hey, you 60 years old, you... You're too old to be calling yourself a street ninja and this, that, and the third. You don't even know what's going on out here with the young boys. So more back and forth. And that's what we got to be careful of, people. The back and forth sometimes escalates past social media. Why? Because social media puts the battery in these people's back. Because once you get disrespected on social media in front of millions of people, because think about it, Cameron and Mace, their podcast is blowing up. They go viral damn near every video they do, right? So when they say something, think how it has the other person looking like, whoa, they went in on you. So that's the battery in the back. Now you're going, whoa, especially if you're a person that reads comments and watch other videos with other people's commentary, it's going to get you battery charged up and you're gonna be like whoa no we got to respond and that's basically in my humble pie jay prince i got to respond because 
they coming at my fighter hard. Yeah, my fighter, they talking about some 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 semi street stuff, which at the same time, his fighter the one who jumped off with that street ish, right? They're just doing what sports commentators do. They talk, say what they gotta say about a fighter or a person. All commentators, they say what they got to say about a person and they want to give it some some humor to it. Because I watch a little bit of the Cameron and Mace podcast and they like to talk and give that humor to what they're saying. Because you have to make people want to come back and listen to your show. So you add humor to it, even though it has truth to it, because they're not the only ones saying that Shakur Stevens ain't it. But. His manager, Jay Prince, like, nah, y'all trying to make my fighter look bad. Then when his fighter doesn't uh, get fights, he can say, no, it's because of them. He's taking food out of my mouth. See, and that's where the real confrontation can get started. And that's why we have to be careful, people, because everybody doesn't take your humor, mannerism in a good way. Still, at the end of the day, it's just commentary. It's just another person's opinion. A person's opinion about you shouldn't have no effect on you. That's just your opinion. And like the old saying, it's just like a butthole. Everybody has one, right? So at the end of the day, people, just let me know. What do you think? Do you think that this back and forth social media situation with Jay Prince, Mason Cameron is going to escalate? Or do we think that it shouldn't even be necessary to go as far as it is now? Because in my humble pie, I don't even think it should have got to where it's at right now. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali. Intersection and back street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. <laughs>